very hot oil. Very hot oil. I'm cooking mustard seeds. And this is topping. This is a mustard seed topping. And I put the cumin seed. Mm -hmm. Cool down, then I put chili and curry. Then I put it on the water. Sour chili. Huh? Okay, knock down. I missed. I missed a little bit. So to that, when I put it down, he added cut chili. I'm in Leicester today and I'm about to visit Charmilly restaurant. So this is the sweet section, this is the savory section. But I'm not here to get their little snacks, I'm here for their little secret restaurant which they got upstairs. They got a buffet which is $6.95, eat as much as you like, Tuesday to Friday serve throughout the day. So let's have a look, see what's happening today. Hi brother, how are you doing? I'm not too bad. Yourself? Good, that's Yeah, good. that's good. I have been here a few times. What have you got on the menu today? Alright, let's have a look. You get four curries in the buffet. You've mm -hmm. got a rajma masala, makai palak, alu bengal, paneer tawa masala. You've also got dal, kadi, uh, pila rice, uh, boiled rice, chili bhajiyas, uh, bate tawara, uh, patrina bhajiya. Spinach puri, masala puri, bhatura puri, we've also got plain puri. With that, we also give naan. We've got garlic naan and this butter naan. That's incredible. We've got the cold section. So, daiwara, mixture of chutneys for your dessert. You've got gulab jamun, jalebis, you've got salad, you've got onions, things like that. Your buffet, how much is it? Uh, it's six ninety five per person. As much as you like, yeah. Six ninety five. Six ninety five. Twelve to four. You can sit here for four hours eating if you like. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try and sit here for four hours eating. How's that? <laughs> You've got a bowl say if you like, or you can put it straight on your plate if you like. But if you're going to sit for four hours, I recommend bowl so you can change it. I said I'm going to try and sit here for four hours. I don't feel I'll be able to sit here for four hours. So thank you. So you got your spoons, everything, your tissues and things. I always like buffets, but one of the things I don't like about the buffets is when the get food gets mixed up. But here, they've kindly given you little bowls, stainless steel bowls, to make up a little tally. How up on there? Let's have a look at the gravy, that's how gravy should be. This is the aubergine and potato curry, so let's take a little bit of each. Let's add the spinach and the plain one. The garlic naan. A batura as well. Butter naan. Butter naan, yeah. Freshly made? Yeah. So I'm going to have to definitely get that, thank you. Enjoy. The bhajia, the potato bhajia. The batika vada. Their dokra. It's just arrived fresh. Gulab jamun. Gonna get that first in case it disappears. So, see that in there. So, that's a gulab jamun. This is a jelly they made that this morning. Cucumber writer. Yeah. 
fried cabbage. This is our fried carrots. So let's take the dough water. This is the tamarind sauce. Got a green chutney here. Get a little bit of everything, a little bit of fresh salad, tomato, lemon, fresh green chilies in there, I didn't take that, also the onions, so I've avoided that. So this is the buffet tali at Sharmili, incredible value for money. So let's have a little taste of the potato and aubergine curry. I'm not really a fan of aubergines, the reason I'm not a fan is when the aubergine becomes a mush. The chef has cooked it in such a way that you can still see it's an aubergine. It hasn't been cooked down to a mush. Potatoes really well cooked as well. The gravy is a tomato gravy. A subtle blend of spices. Perfectly spiced. Taste of the spinach and the sweet corn. So even though it's just spinach and sweet corn, it's quite impressive. Very simply spiced. So you can taste the sweet corn, you can taste the spinach. And then it's got a little taste of the capsicum. Still got a good amount of flavour. Taste of the Rajma curry. Thick gravy as well. The kidney beans or the Rajma with the gravy which the chef has created is really superb. It's a real delight to have such a delicious tasting gravy. Again a great balance of spices. A little bit spicier than the um, sweet corn and the spinach. The spices perfectly complement the uh, curry. Have a little taste of the ponya. The ponya, the tower ponya, fried ponya cubes cooked with a, a spicy tomato and onion gravy. What makes this dish is the actual gravy. It's a kind of gravy which complements rice, complements uh, naan bread or puris or chapais. It's how a gravy should be. Thick, not watery, great balance of flavours, superbly spiced. Have a little taste of the dal. And you can see some of the spices in there, you can see the mustard seeds in there. Very tangy, a little bit of sweetness. It's a spice in the same way as you would have at home. This could be a dal that I'm eating at home, but it's in a restaurant. It tastes as good as home cooked dal, something that my wife or my mum would cook. Classic Gujarati dal. Taste of the kadi. The curry is very tasty, very yogurty because the main ingredient is yogurt. You see some of the uh, spices in there. I've used jiru as well. It would perfectly complement the rice. A little bit thicker than what we have at home, but the taste is spot on. Puris, they've been freshly fried, the naan. Freshly made naan bread, got a body kawada, have a little bite of that. Just how a body kawada should be. Properly mashed, well spiced mashed potato filling. This is the fried potato budget. I can see some of the spices of use and I can taste the spice. I think it's ajwain, which is ajmo. Some chili flakes. It's got a little bit of chili heat. I think it would go well with some of these chutneys here. So let's have a little taste of the dhokra. Very, very spongy. And it's like a, a cake, but it's a savory cake. Very tangy as well. I think they add the yogurt to it as well. This is as good as what we have at home as well. So I'm not gonna taste everything on here. I'll have a little taste of the carrots. It's got quite a chili kick to it. So it has been fried, it's fried carrots. It's got a strong mustard flavor. Can't see mustard seeds, so I think it must have used mustard oil. Have a little taste of the cabbage. I expected the cabbage to be savoury, but it's actually quite sweet and it's highly spiced. I don't know what spices they've used. A little bit of chili heat. They've got the sweetness as well from the sugar. Have a little taste of the gulab jamun. Very, very sweet. And even more sweeter with the addition of the sugar syrup. Very yummy, a very yummy dessert. Taste of the jalebi.
So this really is a freshly made jalebi. As well as the sweetness, it's got a crisp crunch and a bite to it when you bite into it. Genuinely delicious. When it's fresh jalebi or freshly made jalebi, it makes all the difference. This is the daiwara, which are fried dumplings in a yogurt sauce. Mild and light, very yogurty. The wada, or the dumpling, is soft. It's been fried, but it doesn't taste oily. The wada and the yogurt complement each other perfectly. For six ninety-five, this is a genuine bargain. Look at what you get, and you can eat as much as you want from the buffet. You can top up as much as you want. A little taste of home on a plate in a restaurant. Delicious tasting food. I'll come back again. When I come to Leicester, I'm going to definitely come back here again. Thank you very much for the delicious buffet. It's genuinely good. Um, until next time, thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers.